Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kaylin. I used to go by Kaylee, but like I'm starting to like Kaylin now. That is my government name. So this video, I want to make fashion videos, but I don't want to do anything that's like insensitive to the times. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking I could do a wardrobe essentials video because these are the things you can wear literally anywhere, even if that is in your house, on the couch. Basically, I'm just going to go through what I believe, and this is different for everybody, but what I believe that everyone should have in their wardrobes just is basic essential guides. Now, I will say, before I do this, my clips, I had left a pile of my clothes here, so I'm sorry about that. It's only for a few clips. Let's just hop into this video because I am really excited. Okay, so to start off my essentials video the first thing that you should have is a basic white t-shirt i think that you should have at least one just plain white shirt the one that i have is just a little turtleneck good enough a lot of people like plain white blouses these literally can go with any color outfit so i think it's just a really good way to style an outfit for these tops that i'm trying on i am just going to stay in a simple blue jean because i want to show that even with a simple casual jean these shirts can and will dress up your look. Also, you can literally put a basic white tee under anything. So I can sometimes put it under blazers. I can put it under jean jackets. You can wear them even under dresses. So I suggest making sure that you have a few different white items. I have some crop tops, some blouses, just some turtlenecks, just some different styled shirts in the same color. And you will find that this really is just a simple way to make an outfit look good is just by using a simple white shirt. Also, this goes for black shirts. I think it's very important to have some staple black shirts in your closet, whether those are just tank tops, black blouses, black turtlenecks. The turtleneck that I have for the darker shades is actually brown in this video, but it's pretty much black. Like, I mean, it would do the same. So make sure you just have some darker colored shirts. It is great for layering. Also, a simple all black look can make you look so fashionable so quick, guys. So while staying in the top part of our body for outfits, Something that I also think is essential is blazers. So I have two blazers right here. This one obviously is a black blazer with some simple detail and this is a white blazer. And this one right here is more of a relaxed casual material. So this is just really good when you have those super casual outfits that you just want to jazz up or you want something that looks somewhat like a blazer but is not. This has the comfort of a cardigan. So if you can just find you some really simple, really, really cute blazers, these are a amazing way to dress up a very basic outfit and also make you look like a business classy woman because we are out here living our best lives. When building your wardrobe, start with your neutral colors because if you go out immediately buying statement pieces, you might find yourself in a situation where you don't have the basic necessities to build up your outfits. You're just constantly wearing statement pieces and sometimes not everybody wants to wear a statement piece just to go drop some mail off at USPS, I'm just saying. I think it's just really smart to have different cuts and different styles. Like this is a basic black shirt, but it's sheer, so that's a little different. I also have, excuse my blue hanger, <laughs> this shirt. I tried it on in the video, and I really enjoyed this because it just shows some clavicle. <laughs> Who am I saying clavicle? It shows some collarbone. That is also a very tasteful way to show off some skin while not showing too much skin. The last thing that I'm going to talk about with the tops and whatnot is one thing that I really enjoy, which is turtlenecks. So I have some turtlenecks right here. This one's the white one that I tried on earlier. I have a pretty red one. And then I have this dark brown one. I also have one that is light brown. I really enjoy turtlenecks because a lot of people have turtlenecks, but they're different. And these turtlenecks that I have, they're very lightweight. So I could even wear these in the summer if I wanted to. It's just a really nice way, in my opinion, to also make you look elongated because it comes all the way up to your neck and it goes all the way down to your torso. So nothing is getting cut off. So it also adds just some length to your body, which is great for a short piece. People because I'm 5'3 and I'm always told I'm short. Now we are in the second area of this video which are pants or bottoms. There are four different types of bottoms that I believe you should have in your essentials. First is a pair of blue jeans, the second is a pair of black jeans, the third is like dressier pants, and the fourth is relaxing leisure time pants. So I have these blue jeans right here. So these are the jeans that I wear right here. They're just simple skinny jeans. These 
honestly go with almost every outfit that I wear that is very casual. I really enjoy these because they are also a curvy style, which is very important for my type of body shape. My waist is almost 10 inches smaller than my hips. I just try to make sure I find jeans that are meant for my body shape. And when you find jeans that fit you, it will change the game. But also you wanna find a pair of jeans that is gonna last. So make sure you're finding a good quality pair of jeans that will keep you snatched, keep you looking cute, but also last you a few years. Another style that I really like, like I said, is the black jean. I think this is very important to have because these, again, yeah, go with anything in your wardrobe especially if you have neutral colors you can just throw all these different things together and the good thing about us like wardrobe basics is literally you can pair any basic with another basic and it's a fit that's also an amazing convenience about having simple basics I don't really have much to say it's just a simple black jean these are the Levi's high rise skinny jeans so these are my go-to black pair of jeans and then the more dressier one now for these I would consider them like a trouser pant or some type of straight legged not jean material pant this is like what you would wear to your job interviews or you know you're going on a really nice dinner or something like that or you just want to be comfortable but look cute these a lot of people don't think these trouser type pants are comfortable but let me tell you they are because they're not constraining so I unfortunately don't have my pair of black ones so this is another way these are just very loose pants they don't they're not skinny I consider these my vacation pants anytime I go on vacation I take these with me I almost feel like a pirate Arr. these are my fancy pants that I'm showing you for this video they're not really that fancy but like it's okay just have a pair of like more special more dressier pants when I say dressier dressier as you see fit everybody's definition of dressy is different so whatever fits your style just make sure you have a pair of nicer pants that you can wear okay so for the fourth area in this I'm just talking about leisure relaxing and I just have a pair of leggings here to show you guys leggings literally you wear them to the airport you wear them to school they're so comfortable I know a lot of people have like feelings about wearing leggings in public but I believe if it's comfortable and you're just going to the store and you just want to wear leggings go to the store in leggings leggings can be so fashionable we have things like fabletics now that allows us to have nice leggings at an inexpensive price i also have these wet pants and i think these are just great especially during quarantine these two things are going to come in handy okay after talking about sweatpants that leads me into my next section which is relaxing casual wear slash matching sets i think especially during quarantine it is very easy for us to just throw on whatever we want stay in pajamas all day and that is great but at the same time that could be a little detrimental to our productivity surprisingly when you're just in pajamas all day sometimes you don't feel as you know the urge to be productive but sometimes if you just change your clothes you'll be surprised at how much more energized you feel I think a great way to go about this is to have a matching set type of loungewear now this doesn't mean you have to go and buy matching sets but like for instance I have a pair of gray shorts that I have on now so I can't show you and then if I were to pair it with this Calvin Klein hoodie thing there you go I bought these completely separate they have absolutely nothing to do with each other but they are very cute together and it allows me to feel cohesive stylish but also very comfortable which is very important during this time also I think another way to make this type of tip that I have more fashionable I think neutral colors is the way to go when we're talking about essentials now once you have your essentials go crazy get the bright pink get the neon green get whatever you want but I think the essentials it's just very important to have these basic colors so I have them in gray and black so the last part of these essentials is the one piece outfit as I like to call it and that will be your dresses your rompers your pantsuits that is what I'm talking about and these are so great for when you roll out of bed and you have 10 minutes to get ready and you need to look nice just whip out that romper whip out that really cute romper girl and you are ready to go and out the door this is also another way to make you look instantly cohesive I think it's just really cool to have some nice dresses rompers different styles of them more fancy more casual and I saved my most dressy dress 
for the end of this video and this dress it's a simple dress and it makes it look like I put in more effort than I did and I will tell you I got this for $20 at Burlington also to say these essentials don't have to be expensive but you do want to invest in the essentials because they're going to be with you for the longest and these are the things that shouldn't be going out of style so fast I think it's important to invest that is literally all I have for you guys today so I really hope you enjoyed this video if you are new here and you possibly have come for my workout video which a lot of you have thank you so much for joining and those videos will be every Friday if you want to check out my workout videos I have a playlist if you don't know I did the two-week shred challenge from Chloe Ting and the 1000 ab challenge rep in a day whatever I just said workout so if you want to check those go on my channel and they're the most recent videos that I've posted so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did say it with me please like comment and subscribe down below to let me know that you like what I had to show and and let me know how you guys are doing. I hope you guys are doing okay. Please stay hydrated, healthy, and happy. Make sure you are taking care of yourself during this time. We are going on like month three, two, three of quarantine. This is month two. We're going on month three for me from quarantine. It's been three months since I've been back from I don't even know. We're going on like a very long time of quarantine and I know this is a very easy time to just let things go. So please just take care of yourself and make sure that you know you and your health is first. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Hope this was helpful guys. See ya.